So, Charlie Austin, congratulations on signing for AFC Sutton. After a long and distinguished career playing at professional professional level, what makes you want to make a return to London? Honestly, I think it was more along the the family lines. I know where I am in physically and, and mentally as well, but I think we come with a family. It was like I want to spend more time with them. I do the football with my son and do the training in the midweek and that's something that I didn't want to miss out on. And when this opportunity come, come around and, and Beats got in touch with me and I appreciate it wasn't a quick and easy deal to happen, but the patience that the football club showed in me and, and they give me time, I was very appreciative of that. And now it's just about playing football with a smile on my face and, and helping the football club. So you mentioned that James Beattie was obviously an important part of the process of bringing you here. I've uh, been told that you and he are good friends. Can you tell us any more about exactly what the process was that, that ended with you agreeing to sign for AFC Tottenham? Did you take much persuading? Um, I mean, there's not, a really, there's not a real lot to tell, if I'm honest. Like, he got in touch with me in May and asked me the situation, what I was thinking about doing. I said, look, I still want to play in the Football League. However, what the what opportunities arrive throughout, throughout the summer, then let's stay in touch. And that was it for the first four or five weeks. Went on holiday, come back, we stayed in contact. And then it come to the point where I was away and he, he just asked me, do you want to come down and train? I'd seen that I'd just been training on my own and that more than welcome to come down and train. I was like, oh, he beats, I'm not too sure. And then I went away on one last family holiday and that with, with the kids. And I don't know, the penny just kind of dropped that. When I rang him, I just said, look, let's just do the deal. And it was, it was as simple as that. I know it's not as glitz and as glamorous as what everyone probably thinks it was, but the patience that the football club showed was, was brilliant. And so I'm very appreciative of that. And now it's all about getting started, I guess. You're 35 years old now, which gives you a couple of years on our top goal scorer of the last couple of seasons, Scott Rendell. Um, you've obviously played at this level before, the likes of Hungerford, Thatcham Town, and more famously, Paul Town. What kind of an impact do you think you can have at this level now? I don't know. I don't know. Plenty of experience, uh, bring plenty of goals and, and know-how, really. I know... Uh, I've been around, I've, I've seen it all, I've been able to play and I've been very fortunate throughout my career to play in all four of the, four of the professional divisions. So I guess just lean on that experience and, and come in and help the football club achieve what the, what the goal is really. Okay. Do you have any concerns at all that you're going to be something of a marked man as soon as some of the more agricultural central defenders of the Southern League see that you're on the team sheet? Um. I don't know. Like that's that's been my whole career, hasn't it? I think like that that's 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 been it. But I want to play. Nothing's going to change my game or the way I play. I know how to how to play and what makes my game work. So if my game can fit in with the team and and we can really help the team, then it's not about me. It's it's, it's about the team and and the team progressing and be able to get over that final hurdle. Like unfortunately, the, the failed last year. Unfortunately, but next year. Is, is the goal for us is to get promoted and, and me coming in and, and having my game help the team and, and the team help me then then all together let's, let's hope we can do that. Are you very familiar with modern step three football? I mean, you've played at this sort of level before, you played for Paul Town last in 2009, obviously that's about 15 years ago so are you familiar with, with how this level of football has changed in that time? I think so. Hunger for playing in the, in the same league, and yeah. obviously I, I'm from there, so I've, got, I've I've gone and watched a couple of games and seen what it is. Look, it's, it's not just about this level. I think it's non-league in general. Over the last 15 years, is 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 got better. Yeah. And I'm not saying that rudely. I just think that it's got better. There's just so many more players that are involved in the professional game that don't get contracts and then come back through. And then the only benefit beneficial point of that is that non-league grows and, and becomes a lot stronger and a lot better. So look, I'm looking forward to the challenge. I'm. I'm if I was coming here half-hearted, I might as well just retired and knocked it on the head then, but I'm coming here ready to play. Great. Well, we're very pleased to have you. Welcome along. Do you have a, a last sign-off message for the AFC Tottenham fans now that you're one of them? Let's stick together, strap yourselves in. It'll be a bumpy ride, I'm sure, but if we all stick together and go the same way, then promotion's our number one goal. Charlie Austin, thank you very much. No problem. Nice Lovely. one. Thank We'd you. like to get some...